fishing. You missed the ramp a little bit. <laughs> I know. Was, you know what? You should look at the other side. Show the viewers the other side. The other side's bad? Well, I didn't know how to how to approach it. And we're kind of hanging half off of it right now, but well, yeah. I don't think the ramps are like that in Texas. No, we got we got good ramps in Texas. You also have to pay for them, so it's a trade-off. Yeah, that's true. We're yeah. going musky fishing. Muskies? Muskies. But we gotta get there first. Yeah. We're here. Oh boy, we're going for the mega smallies this morning. <laughs> Big tubes. Folks, we have a rod that's something uh, that I, I saw on the internet a while ago and I saw that Jay posted a photo of it last year and I thought we have to go there. And that is a boat conveyor belt from one lake to another. Now this is a small lake that connects to Lake of the Woods here in Ontario. And we're basically, we're putting the boat on a lift, like a, I don't know, plastic or like tarp that basically brings the boat down to Lake of the Woods. So we've got the drone up and we're gonna get some sick footage. This little token right here, I know it looks like a really dirty penny, but this is what's gonna get us across. You buy this at the local store called Ren's Camp. They also help run this lift and they keep it maintained and let us transfer into Lake of the Woods. So there we're gonna we go. drop it in up there. Hopefully put it in the right hole. And you wanna go down. We're gonna press down. We're gonna start. Hopefully this works. Uh -huh, oh, we're going. Boy. We're going. So I'm literally walking right now on the, the conveyor belt that's gonna get us down there. Pretty crazy, it's like a, a mesh material. I don't know how to explain it, but let's get going. Look at that, that's crazy. We have made it down the ramp, safe and sound. The drone is up, got some sick dope photos. That thumbnail is life. Vlog inception right now. A lot of vlogging going I'm, on. I'm We're, uh... vlogging you, vlogging me, vlogging you. We're good. We're good. Uh -huh. Hop on in. Let's go fishing. You said to hop on in. No, so no, I you hop. Huh? Well, after that adventure, we have made it onto Lake of the Woods, legendary lake. I love this lake. It's beautiful. And right now, it's pretty much known for big, big musky. And so, I have not caught one over 45 inches yet. I just broke my PB. If you guys missed that video, click up here in this corner. It's uh, it's a pretty fun video of me and my buddy Mike, but I'm out with Jay. And we got the boat over the conveyor belt. Anything can happen. So, we'll see you guys. Chest mount engaged in three, two, two. one. Oh. This reel is huge. Good grief. Huh? Yeah, I'll be fine. Just gotta figure out a new way to hold it. Oh gosh. Oh. Oh, I just had a bass. One sec. Let me just catch one real quick. And get some. Get some content. Got him. Got him. Why is your rod so soft? There he goes. Little. Oh, oh, it's a smallmouth. That was a rock bass. Bring it in here. Boom. Jay has been messing with the transducer, so I had to uh, take a few casts with the top water. And boom. My first like with musky in a little bit. I mean, <laughs> what am I saying? On the popper. Little guy, he's got a he's got a nice little belly. He's getting fat. Alright, bet. Thanks for playing. <coughs> Bless you. Your drag was mega loose. Got him. Boom. Got him. Him. On the smallies. Oh. We don't even need a muskie. We don't even need a muskie. Who needs who needs that, that content? I got bass content. His face is bleeding. I don't want to get blood on your boat. Why is your face bleeding? Don't do that. <laughs> we well, just found a new spot for the bass right next week. Yep. They're small though. 
<laughs> you don't want these in your bass tournament. No. But it's fun. Cheat. I am crushing it. Uh, uh. Stop. Chill. Chill out, bud. Thank you. No, oh, it's not that tangled. Oh, the blade's tangled. I see, I see. Oh gosh. I got a rock and it felt it felt real good. Huh? You hooked the water line, I think. Did I really? Oh I did. Oh shoot. Spot number four, no fish. Spot number five. No fish. Going to bass, as that's what I know best. Got him. I don't know what kind of hooks that that was, but right next to that boulder on the Ned Rig, classic Smalley bait. I'm sure you guys are getting real sick of all this Canada footage on a Ned Rig, but. When it's working, why throw something else? It's kind of an underrated tip. When you're catching fish on something, there's no reason to throw anything else. Got him. Got him, got him. When the muskies don't bite, you pull yourself out a spinning reel and a spinning rod, some eight pound fluorocarbon, and you've got yourself Canadian bass. Beautiful. I could never get sick of catching these things. And you could tell this guy has been sitting shallow because he has clay on his belly. So he's just kind of sitting down there, sitting in the clay. See you, bud. It may be the fastest. There we go. No, oh, I don't want that kind. I don't want that kind of fish. He's small. He's a smallie, but he's a, he's a small smallie at best. He's just having fun. Well, that's a pretty one. That's a real pretty one. <laughs> Got him. Oh. In the basket. In the basket. <laughs> Gosh. The new FLW net. Scott Martin's gonna use this one next year. Beautiful Lake of the Woods bass. Jay's over here, you know, plugging along. Grinding. Look Grinding how fat the that fish is. I know. You you been tubbying up. Eating some cray. Eating some crayfish. Although his belly's kind of soft. Maybe a mixture. He's got a soft belly. Come here, bud. Open up for the camera and say goodbye. Gosh. Call it a mega, Jay. We're on it. <laughs> Woo! Call me the hammer slayer. Call me the hammer slayer. There you go. Gee, his, his butt is literally in the clay. So really? shallow. No, he's pooping crayfish. Oh, is that really? Yeah, it's pooping crayfish. Oh, it's crawfish poop. Smell it. Taste it. Tastes like crayfish. I'm, I'm not going to taste it. It's not really what I'm into, but... Wow, I wonder if... I mean, when I go to a crawfish bowl, my poops aren't brown. Actually, wait, take that back. My poops are always brown. Folks at home, my poops are brown. Sometimes red. Sometimes red. Occasionally blue. I should know my boat knots better than this. I'm not a proper captain. Like they say, you can't tie knots, tie lots. And I tried lots and it didn't <laughs> work either. I've never heard that. Really? I'm an Eagle Scout and I've never heard that. I guess they teach us to tie our knots right. Oh man. And uh, no muskies today. You know, it was, uh, we only had, what did we fish for two hours? Two and, oh, a, two and yeah, a half hours? Pretty weak effort. Sans muskies. Definitely. French for without muskies. Sans muskie? Sans, yeah. Okay, today was sans muskie, but was also. What is with? Avec? Avec? Is that with? Avec. Avec. Cool B-roll. <laughs> had a good day though, and of course, as you guys know, I caught some smallies as I had to. Jay was very committed to the muskie today, but I pulled out a loose TP1 speed stick, my favorite little uh, Ned Rig spinning rod and spinning reel combo, and caught some fish on that. It'll be linked down below for you guys to check out. But if you guys want to subscribe to Jay's channel, he's the one that got the cool drone footage this morning, click his button and subscribe. Oh, and uh, my channel as well. I apologize for the uh, the lack of muskies in today's episode, but that's what happens. Maybe tomorrow, though? Maybe tomorrow. That's possible. But until then, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next episode of Tyler's Real Fishing.